Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I want to apologize before the video even starts because I filmed this video on my iPhone, the one that I just got, and I didn't know that you can't edit your iPhone 12 footage on your iMovie or something like that. So I had to edit this entire video on my phone. So I couldn't do everything that I want to do, but I still wanted to get out a video this week for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. Um, yeah, I went through a lot of stress tonight, but that's all. I decided to answer some assumptions that you guys have about me. I asked all of you guys on my Instagram and Snapchat. My Snapchat is Nick Bensi and my Instagram is Nick Bensivango. I asked you guys to give me assumptions that you guys had about me, whether they're good, bad, mean. I'm going to be answering them all today. So I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because it means a lot to me. Let's try to hit 80,000 subscribers. I think we're close to 80,000. But I have two announcements that I'm making at the end of this video. So make sure you watch the full thing to find out some cool news so make sure you watch the full video to find out some surprising news at the end all right make sure you like and subscribe and follow all my social medias they'll be linked down below so let's start reading these assumptions i'm kind of nervous but let's just get into it <laughs> okay the first assumption is that i have a perm um this is a popular question that people are constantly asking me like every single day like every single hour um I don't have a perm, my hair is naturally curly. I have a funny story about this. So me and my friend Tate were at Saddle Ranch and the waiter, we were like joking around saying that I had a perm or something. And then the people behind us were like beauty experts or something. They were like, actually he doesn't have a perm. I could tell by looking at it. And I was like, yes. Actually, when I was younger, my hair was straight, but like, I don't know, when I grew up, it just started curling. And at first I was really mad. I made my mom buy me things from the store that like straightened my hair and all this stuff because I did not want curly hair. I wanted that straight hair that was like, phew. That's what I wanted, but it turned curly and I was so mad. But now everyone likes curly hair, so I'm fine with it. The next assumption is, you were the weird kid at school who turned popular overnight. I wouldn't say this is true or false, but I definitely was considered weird at my school. Like I didn't have that many friends. I mean, we won't get into it, but it was pretty bad. I guess I have more friends now, so I guess it's kind of true, but it didn't happen overnight. So I would say that is half true, half false. The next assumption is that you sort of kind of care about what people think in a way. Um, I think they're saying that like, I care about comments and stuff, so this is true. I mean, every creator reads comments. We can get a thousand nice comments, but then one mean one, and that mean comment will just tear us down. Everyone has their insecurities and everyone cares what other people think, like in the slightest. Even if you say you don't, like you care about it a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's normal, I think. So yeah, that is true. The next assumption says that I can't drive. This is sadly true. Um, I don't know how to drive, but I have a permit, so I'm not sure what to do with that information, but I don't have my license. But I should have my license. I just am too lazy and focus on other things. I do need to get my license. This one is false though. Wait, no, it's true. I can drive. I mean, I can't drive, so it's true. The next assumption says you secretly hate living in LA. This one, this one's definitely false. I love living in LA. I'm from New Jersey and I've always wanted to move to LA like my entire life. I think when I was eight, I told my mom that I wanted to move to LA by the time that I was 16 and that's when I moved to LA. So that's pretty cool. I love the beaches and like the outdoor stuff. I love the shopping, I love the people. I love the weather, like it's super nice here. So that one is definitely false. Oh my God, I need a haircut so bad. Don't judge my hair, please. The next assumption says, you have always grown up wanting to be an influencer. This one's like partly true, partly false. I grew up, I started dancing when I was six and I wanted to be like a professional dancer. Not necessarily an influencer, but I wanted to be a dancer. But when I was like 12, I started watching YouTube and then I started like idolizing people and wanting to be like them. And that's when I wanted to start doing social media. So I guess you could say I wanted to be an influencer growing up, but it definitely started when I was like 12. Before then, I just wanted to be a dancer. The next assumption says that I'm Mexican. I get a lot of comments saying that people think I'm Mexican or Puerto Rican, but I'm, I'm actually Italian and Greek. That's all I am. I'm like half Italian, half Greek. Half my family's Italian, half my family's Greek. So I'm half and half. Half Italian, half Greek. How many times can I say that I'm Italian and Greek? Like how many times? The next assumption says you seem really out there. Oh, by the way, this is my computer. If it keeps coming in the frame, what's on it? You seem really out there, but you can be really insecure. Um, this is true. On my social media, I guess I come off like with a lot of energy and always being outgoing, but obviously everyone has their insecurities. Everyone has their problems. So obviously this is true. The next assumption says you're single. 
You guys didn't have to call me out, but yeah, I'm single. The next assumption says you're actually 5'3", not 5'7". This one's false. I'm actually 5'7". People think I'm taller and people think that I'm shorter, but I'm just 5'7". I haven't got measured in like a year, so I don't really know what I am, but around my friends who are like 5'7 and 5'8", I seem to be the same height. But the next assumption says, no offense, I literally love you so much, but you low-key seem gay at first. Yeah, I get this comment a lot. I guess I don't- I guess I don't really try to like make myself look hard on social media or anything. And I also dance, so obviously people think that. But no, this one is false. But I love you too, Amelia. Okay, the last and final assumption says you and Jeanina are dating. There's probably like a hundred of these assumptions, but we're just friends. We've said this before. We're just really close friends and we get along super well. That's all. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh wait, I have two announcements to make right now. So the first announcement is that I'm doing Vlogmas this year. I'm pretty excited for it. So basically what Vlogmas is, is 25 days of YouTube videos that are all related to Christmas. But I personally don't like watching vlogs. I'm just gonna be doing more Christmas style videos like building a gingerbread house with Gia or doing something else with someone else or just super fun stuff. And I hope you guys really love it. So make sure you subscribe and like this video if you're excited for that. Last announcement is that me and Gia might be coming out with Christmas merch. We will be letting you guys know super soon when the merch is gonna drop, but just know it's happening. It's happening this year. Nick and Gia merch for Christmas. I'm so excited. All right, I think that's all. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. You guys mean so much to me. Thank you for almost 80K. It's like crazy. I didn't expect to like grow this much on YouTube, but it means a lot to me. And I love you guys so, so, so much. Follow me on my social medias. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.